Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to video 6 of the wet venting series. In today's video, we discuss multi story wet venting. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. This video assumes you already have prior knowledge of plumbing code interpretation and sizing of drains and vents. And for those of you new to this topic, no problem, I have two video series Basic Drainage Waste and Venting and Level 2 Drainage Waste and Venting. We have two clauses left to cover in the wet venting section, and it covers a wet vent that passes through multiple stories. Now, technically, it's not called a wet vent. It's called a soil waste stack sized as a wet vent. This picture is an example of when we might see something like this. I have two bathroom groups downstairs, and as we travel up the soil waste stack, you'll notice we have two three compartment sinks draining into each story. This is a multi story wet vent. Now, there's nothing special about the bottom floor. You just need to follow all the wet venting rules that we've already covered in videos 1 through 5. But as we go up to the next story, now we need to look at the next two code clauses. Clause 25211H. Where a wet vent extends through more than one story, the total discharge from any one story above the first story does not exceed four fixture units. So these two bathroom groups would not be affected by this clause, but anything on the floors above this point would be. So on this story, I have two three compartment laundry trays draining into the soil away stack that's being sized as a wet vent. Both of those laundry trays are two fixture units apiece. And that makes four fixture units total for that story. That is the maximum I'm allowed to do according to this clause. I'm also allowed to take these same two fixtures and put them up on the next story. Here's another scenario. I've got a shower with two heads, that's three fixture units, and a kitchen sink, which is one and a half fixture units draining in from one story. I add those up, I get four and a half fixture units. I won't be allowed to do that, I'll have to change something there. Now let's talk about sizing. Fortunately for you, sizing has not changed. We still count all the fixture units that are draining into the wet vent up, and we look at table 2581, so let's count them up. On the top two floors, I have four triple compartment laundry trays. Each of those are two fixture units apiece. So that should be eight fixture units. Down on the lower floor, I have two lav sinks draining into the wet vent. They are one fixture unit each. And I also have two bathtubs at one and a half fixture units each draining into the wet vent. I never count the last connected fixtures. In this case, it is the water closets that are joined together with a double TY. If I add those all up, I have 13 fixture units draining into my wet vent. So I look at table 2581, I am serving water closets, so I use the right hand column. And I can do a 4 inch wet vent serving up to 14 fixture units, so that should be good for us. Now the size of our wet vent never changes, so right from this point up here all the way down to here will be 4 inches in size. And we'll just have a regular soil away stack continuing beneath the water closet trap arms. And you'll find out if you look at table 2410-6A that 4 inches is plenty big for that. Now it's time to size that vent coming off the top. Now remember, this is the top of a soil away stack, which makes that a stack vent. And for the purposes of this diagram, I'm going to say this is not our main stack. So now we need to count up the fixed unit load for the stack vent, and that is everything that drains through the stack altogether. So that was 13 fixed units through the wet vent, plus two flush tank water closets. That's another eight. We're at 21 fixed units. And I'm going to say we have three meters of developed length for that portion that goes up through the roof. So I find table 2584. I come down to a four inch soil waste stack at its base. I come across at 43 because I'm only serving 21 fixed units. Across to two inches, which is good to 10.5 meters of developed length. I only have three so I will have a two inch stack vent. We're allowed to have an offset in this wet vented portion of a soil away stack, but we need to follow clause 25211I. There is not more than one nominally horizontal offset in the wet vent, and the offset does not exceed 1.2 meters for pipes two inches or less in size. So let's pause right there and look at this diagram. I've got four labs draining into a wet vented soil away stack with two kitchen sinks at its base. If I use my wet vent tables properly, it'll tell me I have a two inch wet vent. So according to this clause, this offset can be only a maximum of 1.2 meters long from this point here all the way to here. 
The clause goes further to say the offset does not exceed 2.5 meters for pipes larger than 2 inches in size. And if we look at this diagram here, we have the same system that we sized up earlier with a 4 inch wet vent, but now we've just put an offset in it. This clause tells me this offset is maximum 2.5 meters long from this point here all the way over to here. The last code clause we need to cover is 2584 number 4. A stack vent serving a wet vent stack that is over four stories high shall extend the full size of the wet vent to outside air. Let's use this picture to illustrate this. First of all, let's count how many stories the wet vent passes through. Starting from the top, we got one, two, three, four, five. We are passing through more than four stories, therefore we need to apply this rule. So what we have here is 10 lab sinks draining into this multi-story wet vent and two two-compartment kitchen sinks down at the base. And if you size this properly, you're gonna find out we have a three inch wet vent here. And that means the stack vent that extends from the top is also going to be three inches until it penetrates the roof. And I'd like to congratulate you because you just made it to the end of the wet vent series. I hope you have a wonderful day.